Hey, what's good with y'all, man? It's been a little minute, but I got some new items that I picked up for this fall winter season. So I decided who better to show them off to but the gang. So let's hop straight into it. So we're going to start off with an accessory that honestly, I never planned on really buying like that. But I wear the black one so often that it made it very easy to pull the trigger on this. So this right here is the cost oversized quilted crossbody bag in the blue colorway and honestly i was just on the cause website i think i'm signed up for their alerts or something like that and i see that they restocked a few different colorways and when i went to the colorways i was like bro i have been seeing the blue one but when i went to buy the black one this one was sold out and i was like you know what why not go ahead and pull the trigger? So I'm really not gonna talk y'all's head off about it. Most people probably know the details at this point, but I think it's just a fire accessory and a very standout color when it comes to accessories. Moving on, if you guys follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you've probably seen me talk about this already, but I went thrift shopping recently to a place called It's A Wrap, which basically carries a bunch of items that came in from different TV shows or movies movies and stuff like that so went in there I saw this insane military trench coat and I just had to grab it it was like half off too so I was like you know what let me go ahead and pull the trigger but this shirt right here is absolutely crazy first of all the what grabbed my attention was the insane brown wash on it like it couldn't get any more up my alley than like this crazy brown cave type of wash on it. It also has a bunch of crazy vintage details that you only see on old things like these huge buttons that are kind of just like threaded onto the jacket. One of the most unique parts of the jacket in my opinion also is how short the sleeves are. I don't really know what the significance is for it, but I find that it like comes to a perfect length to where if you have bracelets on or something like that, it just looks so fire, bruh. So yeah, man, cop this jacket. It's a very cool length, very cool color, like I said before. And it's a very vintage like canvas material. So I think it's gonna hold up for years to come. So definitely a good pickup. So from the same exact place, I was able to find this trucker jacket, which is by Hugo Boss. And it definitely has to be one of the older versions of hugo boss because it has this big red tag which i don't even know if i've seen in any other hugo boss pieces as of recent now obviously i'm not an expert so maybe i could be wrong but very cool jacket it is a wax denim jacket so if you see on different type of panels you have this very shiny effect which i just think blends in with an all black wardrobe perfectly so definitely was a no-brainer for me um it does have a bit of different details outside of just the wax it has this velcro strap that keeps the jacket together which i never see usually it's like buttons or some type of snap buttons or something like that but this one's velcro it fits really well in all of the lengths especially the arm and the waist and i just think it's a good pickup next up we got a couple of pieces from gator that i think are just really dope in general i just recently got these so i haven't even been able to like wear them yet but i'm definitely excited to and this right here is called the three piece camo shirt and as you can see it is three individual pieces like i'm pretty sure if I wanted to, I can take each of these off. No, maybe not. So it's actually attached in the back. We're like finding this out together right now. So actually it has like this tank top or vest type of looking thing on top of it in like this black textured material and it is attached in the back and of course you have your layered shirt with two different type of camos of course you got your green camo and then you got like the gray scale type of camo for the undershirt but overall a very fire and creative looking garment um definitely excited to play around with it a little bit especially during like the chillier days of fall in la i think this is really going to be perfect for that so same brand and same type of uniqueness i've never really seen anything specifically like this but this is called a scardigan and it's in the black colorway and basically it's kind of confusing when you see it on the hanger but once you put it on it makes a little bit more sense so basically it's like kind of like a cardigan but you can put it on your head kind of like a scarf wrap it around and then you have like this very ninja star wars type of look i don't even quite know how to explain it but you guys will get a better visual when i have it on body but 
Overall, very cool piece, very creative. And it also fits well. I went with a size large, so I would recommend that you go true to size. Now, next up is one of my favorite up and coming brands called Handmade Rust. Y'all see me wear the denim all the time and everybody asks about where I get them and stuff like that. But they also make other things such as this t-shirt right here. So this is called the Wolf Creek Tea and it has cold water creek on the front of it. Very reminiscent of maybe like a Raph Simmons type of graphic, like one of those older 2000 type joints. But very, very nice. It has a very boxy fit. And if you wear all black, this is gonna be a perfect addition to your t-shirt wardrobe. I have plenty of t-shirts, but something about these like cracked wash graphics always does it for me. So definitely gonna be an addition to the shirt collection. They also have what is called the Carry All Rucksack. So this is a bag that basically looks like a military joint that you would carry around, but in a black colorway. And come on, bro, you can't beat this. Anything that has a bunch of straps on it is definitely gonna grab my attention. One of my favorite bags to carry around as an accessory is a Raph Simmons bag that has a bunch of rings and straps on it. So definitely right up my alley. I kind of like how it's a blank canvas. So if you're one of those people that are really interested in putting pins and stuff on your bags this is gonna be a nice one to buy as a base if you may but it's huge though it has a bunch of compartments it has drawstrings to kind of pull the bag together and then strap over it and then a couple of different pocket details here and there now lastly from handmade rust i know this is a fall winter haul but i did go ahead and get these shorts right here which are called the infantry jort and honestly like with the distressing at the bottom remember how i just talked about having the pants these are like the cool shorts version of that and they come to a perfect length like i've seen some people make jorts that are kind of too long and they float right over a pair of shoes or boots too close i feel like this has the perfect amount of space and the distressing kind of just adds a different a different sort of depth to how it looks so definitely a cool pair of pants great wash i think i went with a size 34 four in these no these are 32 so i went my true size with these they fit perfect great quality denims 10 out of 10 would recommend if you were looking for a pair of jorts getting towards the end here we have a crazy track suit by my people over at veil vale lives and i want to talk about this because the fitting on it is actually a little bit crazier in the pants but it's a set so we'll run over the jacket first so this is actually specifically called the stingray astro set and you will be able to see some of the different details of the sports jacket in the front. So when zipped up, you have your big sports circle logo. You have your big dashing veil across the front. And then you have top shelf gear at the bottom. But honestly, this embroidery combo mixed with this like very swishy type of polyester is just a very good combo like it feels very high quality especially for like a lightweight sports type of jacket and to match that of course we have the pants right here which is my favorite part because the fit on them is just it's just perfect so they're really like a wide leg pair of pants and i don't know if it's because of the embroidery at the bottom but something about it kind of makes it stiff and very structured right around that calf to like ankle area so it sits really well it feels very lightweight and honestly no complaints at all like i might try to get a different colorway because i think it comes in a couple of different joints so definitely would recommend the pants if you are a pants person i really don't have any like sporty type of pants like this so they nailed it with these i didn't have something else which i thought was a set but i don't really think that it is and i'm not even quite sure if it's out yet either of these pieces but this right here is a suede bomber jacket with stripes on the side a bunch of different cool layers and just the overall texture of the suede is one of those super high quality buttery type of suede like you know back in the day when everybody was buying jordans and you can always tell like the good quality suede from like the trash suede this is like one of the good quality suede right here so you have it for the entire jacket you have suede on the ribbing on both the neck and the waist you got button detailed pockets and three stripes going down both sides of the arms so overall this is like one of them quality pieces that like you really gotta get in hand to really get the gist of it and low-key i think i saved the best for last and like i said i don't think that these are out yet 
but these are a pair of suede biker pants and when you see the details of these and they are a little bit softer and a little bit more buttery than the bomber jacket but i think for it in a pair of pants is what makes it really really valid and honestly these might be samples because i did talk to him and i was like yo i seen him post them on instagram i was like bro i need those he was like yo i think they're in production or something like that they might be samples whatever but all i know is i got a pair and these joints is crazy i don't see nobody making any type of suede biker pants so i'll make sure that you guys have the detailed b-roll shots and things like that you have this very cool veil for the back tab on the waist along with your knee pads and rings and such and i don't even know what to say about these if these ever drop and y'all don't cop them you missed out for sure that is pretty much it for the video i did want to announce that the cave brown colorway of the upside down cap is out now bunch of crazy details it's pretty much the same as the first one except for slight different distressing obviously different colorway but make sure y'all check that out man but that's pretty much it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you go down smash the like button comment down below what your favorite piece was in the hall and i'll be back to you guys with more man peace